fourpointsrvservices.com. Write it down if you're the owner of an RV. Because these guys, they have a mobile uh, RV service. And they'll come out and work on your uh, work on your RV for you. Uh, you don't have to take you don't have to take it into a a dealer or something. And their prices are very very reasonable. So we called them up because last summer 2020 was one of the hottest summers in the Phoenix area. We're in the Phoenix area, so if you're in the Phoenix area, like I said, write down that uh, that address uh, because uh, if you need some work done on your RV. These guys are super, super nice guys to have around. Plus, uh, being being nice, their prices are very reasonable. Now, you notice the seals around those slide outs? They were rotten. They were worn out. And so last summer, uh, which was one of the hottest summers on, in, 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 on record in Phoenix, last summer the hot air was coming in as fast as we could cool it down. And our, uh, my son's electrical bill was unbelievable. So they came out, and you'll notice he's removing the old, worn-out, inefficient AC unit. And the new one laying there uh, even looks different. And it's more efficient. And by the way, we tried them out by now, and they're more quiet. And uh, they uh, are cycling nicely. Uh, we'll see uh, how much we save this summer when it gets super hot in July and, and August. So they put in the new AC units and then they also spent the day replacing all the seals around all four slide outs. And uh, not only did it, uh, we can tell the difference uh, with the air conditioner, but it's quieter. Those seals were letting uh, all, you know, the air travel, air allows sound to travel a lot easier. So this is the finished product. I came out with my drone the next day and uh, made this little short video just to see, uh, show you uh, the new seals on the slide outs. So if you have an RV and you want some good service, keep in mind uh, fourpointsrvservices.com and it'll be well worth your time to get in contact with them. They're reasonable and super, super nice. Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and I had to throw that in at the beginning because I was so happy to uh, to uh, meet those guys and have them work on my uh, fifth wheel. But anyway, um, the uh, this we live in a community called uh, Santan Valley and the, the center of it is about four miles to the west of us and there's a road, the road that comes out to where we live and uh, it it's, uh, comes out about four miles to where we are, and then it ends. And there's nothing except farmland and sagebrush for the rest of the way. But it goes the other way for about 30 miles, and it's all, uh, you know, uh, housing and uh, businesses and stuff like that. So if somebody's lazy and doesn't want to make a 30-mile round trip to the dump, they'll come out here and uh, dump their stuff along our road <laughs> and so I thought well I'll show you what it's like to live on the edge of civilization so I flew along here and uh, by the way then after I flew along here I rode my my e-bike and took some shots of the things that are that have been dumped out here and this first thing that we're <laughs> we're looking at is an antique color television that uh, was uh, came along and uh, didn't last long, but it it was a great big had a big screen. There you go, and uh, had a big screen, and uh, it uh, it was it was good for what it was, but it was not a uh, it was not a, a digital screen. It was a translucent screen that they shined on the back of it. So anyway, so <clears throat> that's what that is. And then further down here, we've got some couches and stuff. And what I did was I I got on my e bike and I tried to duplicate the pictures. Uh, that we have uh, um, on on the video, and <laughs> actually I didn't get very far because I realized after after uh, trying to put them together 
that they're just too small for me to see. But I wanted to uh, to demonstrate what it's like to live out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Actually, it's not the middle of nowhere. It's just the edge of uh, edge of civilization. And uh, so there's <clears throat> as we go along here, I'll try to uh, point out what what we're looking at. That big black dot down there, I think that's a couch or something, but anyway, we'll see here in a second. As a, well, I had to raise in my altitude because I was losing signal. So anyway, um, as I rode along, I took pictures of the things that we're looking at here, and uh, so uh, it's kind of a sad thing because there's all kinds of garbage as you look down, uh, old mattresses and... Uh, couches and old tires there's a broken up toilet that's somewhere along in here and uh, <laughs> and uh, then a lot of broken up concrete and then there's an old uh, chair uh, it's kind of hard to see as we go along here but there's all kinds of garbage dumped along this road which doesn't make it very pleasant uh, to uh, spend time spend time on but anyway that's how it is out here living on the edge of of uh, civilization and uh, <laughs> we live here, and that's how it is. I want to thank you for watching my videos, and God bless.